the Joe Rogan experience. You know, the two promoters of that girl fight, as you put it. The girl fight? Yes. Eddie Hearn. You're going to make me have to have those girls on and apologize. <laughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> and Jake Paul. It Wait made a minute. Me... Jake Paul was a promoter? Yeah, without Jake Paul, that fight doesn't happen. He's, you know. He's a, like a full-on he's... promoter now? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The, look, the kid's got to hustle. You got to give it to him. The kid's got hustle. He is a successful hustler. I don't even know. I think he might be. He's got hustle. He's not a hustler. This guy is a legitimate businessman. Yeah, a legitimate businessman. But the major just, things. But the, uh, he makes so much money doing other shit mm -hmm. that the fact that he wants to do that as well and promote fights as well, I'm impressed. He put her on his undercard. She got a lot of visibility there. People in boxing, of course, were already familiar with her, but it gave her much bigger notoriety by being on his cars. And then he and Eddie Hearn put this fight together. Again, I can't stress it enough, a sold out, an actual Madison Square Garden sold out main arena fight. That's incredible. That, Good for him. That was Look value for dollar, like paid Sunglasses. off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. I like it, I man. don't think this fight happens without him. You know, the, the conversation he had with Eddie Hearn, where That's he said, what I, was at. I will knock out <laughs> any one of your guys that has under 10 fights. Right. He goes, whoever you want to have, bring me any guy that you have that's under 10 fights. You could see Eddie Hearn like shit. He was kind of stuck there. You those, think? Yep, because those guys under 10 fights, like, what if Jake Paul knocks one of them out? Like, what if you get a guy that, like, hasn't been tested and maybe has some promise and maybe gets wrapped up in the hype and maybe gets a little nervous and this is his first chance at a big, big, big show and Jake Paul can crack. Yeah. A hundred percent. That knockout of Tyron Woodley is legit as fuck. He can okay, crack. But Eddie's point in that interview, and I think the point that mm, just about just about every boxing aficionado would say is that Tyron Woodley is not a boxer. Yep. And, and nor is Ben Askren, who he knocked out as well. Right. We would have gotten some answers if Tyson Fury didn't get injured, or excuse me, if uh, the, Tommy, the, Fury. Tommy Fury didn't get injured leading up to that fight because he was the initial opponent. So yes. if he fought him, we would have got some real answers. And that would Agreed. be an interesting fight. But Agreed. And to and, your point, I saw people in boxing, when that fight seemed to actually was going to happen, start hedging their bets. Well, yeah. Fury isn't this, Tommy isn't that. I don't buy any of that. I think Tommy is a, a, absolutely a legitimate boxing opponent for Jake Paul. Entertain this perspective. If Jake Paul wasn't Jake Paul, if he wasn't this YouTube guy, who right. was just a boxer, and you see a boxer knock out the former UFC welterweight champion, not just the former, but one of the best ever, knock him out with one punch like that. You'd be like, oh, man, have you seen this Jake Paul dude coming up? He's yeah. fucking for real. Because nothing about watching him fight, to me, screams like he's in over his head. Nothing. He looks like a real boxer. He looks like a real boxer. He doesn't look like a guy who's attempting boxing. That's the difference. The feints, the foot movement, the way he lands shots... He fights like a boxer. He doesn't fight like a guy who's trying to box in a celebrity boxing match. He fights like a boxer. No, because he so if he wasn't that guy, I'm saying if he wasn't that big YouTube star, mm -hmm. and you just saw him as a boxing contender, you'd be like, that dude's got dynamite in his hands. Okay, so there's two points to be made here. First of all, if a guy in his pro debut and the first five fights of his career are knocking out people whose names we know... You're absolutely right. That person is going to get a huge amount of attention, and everybody's going to be like, wow, who the fuck is this guy? But also, if a, a guy who is on the track to be somebody who has like, oh, potential from the Olympics, or he's got a great amateur record, we're going to turn this guy into somebody, in their first fights, they're fighting guys who are like 5 and 27. They right. are fighting other people. Uh, debut opponents who don't have a great track trajectory right. in front of them. They're fighting you know, tomato Setup cans, fights. bums, yeah. you know, just completely not competitive just opponents. Just to get experience. And that's fine, right? Yeah. So when we expect a, a Jake Paul to be fighting like higher level competition, it's not because he has under 10 fights. It's because he talks a lot of shit. Yeah, but that's also <laughs> and, why we're talking about him. And that's that's <clears throat> exactly true. But I think on both sides of the equation, we've got to like admit that a young fighter under five fights isn't fighting great competition. So true. if you're calling Jake Paul a legitimate boxer and then you're expecting him to do what legitimate boxers do, I'm not sure he's not 
doing that well, and probably that, more. That's what I'm saying about the knockout of Tyron Woodley. Because it was just a regular boxer who's just coming up. And what does he have? Six fights? Yes, I don't know. Something like this. Or you, what do you Five mean? Fights. What does Jake Paul have? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something like that, right? Five, no, I think Jamie that was five. his six. I was and then looking at a post he had where he said six and zero yeah. coming soon. The, six and zero. So okay, so he's got five fights now. Anybody who had just five fights was right. like doing you know small cards and then knocks out Tyron Woodley. Tyron right. Woodley says I'm going to try boxing, and some guy starches him with one punch and talks mad shit. You're like, wow, that guy's hot, right? But the fighter doesn't uh, a five and zero oh fighter who's knocked out five guys isn't. Saying I'm ready for Canelo, <laughs> like no guy. But you do if you're crazy and you just talk a lot of shit. It's not like Canelo's like waiting to fight him. Canelo's no. got a lot of things he's doing. He, he doesn't have any time to be waiting around on Jake Paul. He's not really going to fight him. He's got to fight Golovkin in the rematch if he if he beats Bivol. He's got things lined up. 